all the products that i am using in today's video i have already shared them in my previous video uh, that was a beginners makeup kit all under 500 rupees so all these products that i'm using are under 500 rupees so if you want to know what products i'm using check that video out here in the i button and also in the description box below hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video i hope you all are doing fine and finally i'm up with the part two of this video this has been a painful journey to come up with this video i shot this video earlier and because i have been experimenting a lot lately with the lighting and the video setup and all so i didn't notice while filming but because of this background lighting and because i use my camera on an auto mode i do not know the manual settings so i don't experiment with that now so something happened i don't know what that something was but my face was all orange and red tones and it was looking like i had a filter on so and i didn't want to put that video up because i was very very disappointed with how that video had turned out the look was beautiful the tutorial went really good but i didn't like how the clips looked and i didn't want to post a video that i myself didn't like so i had to discard it and this is the second time i'm shooting this video this is the third time that i have created this look and i am still not over this look and i know you guys love this look too because the first time i posted this look on my instagram i got a lot lot of requests from you all uh, asking me what is this lip combo i'm wearing what eye pencil i have used you love this makeup i had a poll up on my story and i got a huge response on that story asking for this makeup tutorial so i thought why not make a youtube video video out of it so here i am with the makeup tutorial so if you are not following me on instagram yet please do so now this is my handle you're gonna love my feed i have been working a lot on it lately so do check me out there as well and if you're new to this channel hi my name is sonia mishra i post beauty and lifestyle related content here on my channel i have been working really hard lately so please appreciate my hard work and hit that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time i upload a new video that is on tuesdays and saturdays and youtube shorts almost daily so you're going to have a lot of fun around so do stick by and yeah now without any further blabbering let's just dive right into this video now let's begin so before starting with my makeup i will prep my skin and my lips so that they are well moisturized and my makeup glides on easily okay so first of all i will moisturize my skin now i will quickly moisturize my lips as well so that they do not feel chapped or dry so firstly i will prime my face for that i'm using a silicone based primer so i will just rub it on my t zone where most of the oil is secreted and then i will pat it properly so that the primer is properly set into my pores and it gives me a smooth canvas to work on and now i will let this primer sit on my skin for about 30 to 40 seconds so that it is all settled in and then i will go on with my makeup now i'll go in with my foundation i will just dot the foundation all across my face now using a damp beauty blender i will blend all the foundation in i'm not using a very full coverage foundation because this look is kind of a neutral glam just with a pop of color and you can wear this look easily for a daily basis as well and i believe on a daily basis you do not need a full coverage but it is up to you if you want you can go ahead with a full coverage foundation as well now my foundation is done now i will conceal my under eyes just to eliminate the pigmentation and i will also apply it a little bit on my eyelids Now taking the same concealer I will conceal my acne scars and a little bit of pigmentation uh, that is around my mouth. Now I'll take the same damp beauty blender and I will blend this concealer out in light dabbing motions again. Okay done with concealing now I'll use a lighter shade of concealer to highlight now 
highlighting just lifts your face up and gives it a dimension because it just brightens up the areas like my under eye the bridge of my nose a little here on my forehead and my chin you can also highlight your contour lines it gives a beautiful dimension to your contour and it enhances your contour even further but i'm not going to do that today this concealer blends in so smoothly it blends like a dream it is very very thin and very very light yet it gives a decent coverage this is from swiss beauty and i absolutely love this concealer for highlighting now i have done all the cream base and now i will set this base using powder and uh, i'm using a loose powder today so i will just go under my eyes the blender to blend in any creases and then i will set it with the loose powder so i'm firstly setting the areas that i have applied concealer on so that it does not crease now i'll quickly se uh, set the rest of my face just very very lightly i'll dust the powder around i'm not going to apply a thick layer of powder because then it tends to get very very cakey that being done now we'll give the dimensions back to our face and for that i'm using a 3 in 1 palette this is my favorite palette so first of all i'm taking the contour shade and i'm just lightly gonna bronze the perimeters of my face to give a little bit of dimension nothing very very harsh now from the same palette i will take the blush this blush is very very pigmented so i'll just dust off the excess on the back of my hand and i'll apply it a little bit on the cheekbones this blush is super pigmented just with one light dab you get such a beautiful pigment but you have to work very light handedly with this blush or you can go easily overboard with this now i will go in with the highlighter again from the same palette again this is a very very pretty highlighter it is a very very subtle and buildable you can build it even further and it is a very very beautiful highlighter for an everyday basis or for a party look as well you can use it it is very very pretty I absolutely love just see the glow it is beautiful done with my base so i'll just quickly fix this base using a makeup fixer again a very very affordable one that being done now we'll move on to the eye makeup so firstly i'm doing my eyebrow i'll quickly brush the eyebrow hair with the spoolie and i'll fill it tad bit with the same pencil Now that's done so I will keep my eye makeup very very neutral so I will just take the same contour shade from the palette and I will dust it all over my eyelid just to give it a little flush of color and a little bit of dimension here just patting the color all over my lid and blending it up till my brows that is done Now I will quickly line my upper lash line. I'm not going to do a wing or a very very thick liner. I'm just going to draw a very very thin liner. I have done a very very thin eyeliner without any wing just to keep it very very neutral but yet beautiful. I've started to sweat. It is summers already okay so we will just move ahead now is the part that gives this look a little bit of life and that is this green coal pencil now because the look is very very neutral this green coal pencil will give it that pop of color and it looks absolutely stunning i'll just line my waterline with this coal pencil and then i will take it a little bit down to my lower lash line keeping it close not very very far and thicker at the outer corner it looks beautiful now i will just take this a small precise brush and i will dip it a little bit into the contour shade and i will just smudge this out a little bit i'll do the same to the other eye so both the eyes are done and you can see what a difference this made to the look the look looks very very beautiful now just because of this pop of green color it looks absolutely beautiful yet very very neutral nothing very bold just a little pop of color and it looks stunning you can even pair this with a red lipstick because green and red are really complementing but that will be a little more glam look i'm keeping it towards neutral today 
and uh, also because uh, you guys loved the lip combo that i did on my instagram with this look so i'm just gonna do that same lip combo so you want to know what lip products i used you have to check the previous video so i'm gonna line my lips with this lip liner i'm keeping it within my lip boundaries and i'm not overlining it Now with the same lip pencil I'll just fill the outer corners of my lips. This color in itself looks very very pretty. Now I'm going to fill it in with my favorite lipstick. Now guess what lipstick I'm talking about. If you've been for a while on my channel you know what this lipstick is. Very very neutral yet little bold and it looks absolutely perfect with this look and i absolutely love how this look turned out i'll just take that small brush again and i will highlight my brow bone and my inner corners quickly to just give that highlighting effect it looks beautiful i forgot applying mascara so i'll just quickly apply mascara now i do not build my mascara a lot maximum of two coats i do and it does not clump in two coats so that's good so you can see the difference before and after mascara this mascara does wonders to your lashes it is beautiful stunning and i do i'm not doing a mascara on my lower lashes today i want to keep it very very neat and minimum and so i just uh, applied mascara to my upper lashes and they look stunning This is the complete look. I have used all the products that are under 500 rupees and I've shared these products in a beginner's makeup kit under 500 rupees in my previous video. So I've linked that in the description box below so you can check it out. And this look has turned out really pretty. It is looking very very subtle yet because of this green pop of color it is looking beautiful and I'm obsessed with this lip combo. I'm going to use it more often. So yeah. This is the look completed. I hope you liked today's look and if you did please consider hitting the like button and drop your views in the comment box below. Tell me what are the makeup looks you want me to do, what are the type of videos you want me to do so that I can come up with those videos. And yes, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. Please hit that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now I will see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye